Hi there, my name is Ian Zachman from Security Online Academy and thanks for coming to watch this video. Uh, this time we're going to talk about Privacy Badger. It's a uh, browser extension which will enhance your security and privacy. So Privacy Badger learns to detect the trackers. The trackers are how advertisers, hackers, snoopers, governments are all tracking you. Basically tracking your behavior online and uh, building a profile of you, primarily to to send you advertising, uh, but otherwise so that they can market to you uh, in all sorts of different ways. We've seen what's happened in the US and the UK in the recent political uh, uh, elections. So these trackers are important and they're important to know what they do. So if you want to learn how to stop the trackers and protect your privacy and security, well, just keep watching and we'll get right to it. So first of all, we're going to be looking at Privacy Badger itself. So we're going to install it. In this case, I'm using Firefox, but Chrome will work just as well. So let's go and add a new extension. So I'm just going here. I type in Privacy Badger. Helps if I can spell. And we'll click OK. And it goes to the add-ons at Mozilla.org. If you, this is always the right place to get it from. Uh, to get any add-on from when you're installing anything into Mozilla. And if you're doing it in Chrome, go to the Chrome Web Store. These are the official sites where you'll get it. You can see as well that uh, Firefox, Mozilla Firefox, recommends certain um, extensions. So they've been ref um, they've met their standards for security and performance. So they're, they're good to add on. So we're going to add in Privacy Badger here. We'll add it to Firefox and then we'll talk a bit more about it in a minute. So you say add, it is going to access your data. Uh, you, you'd think initially this may have a uh, an issue with your privacy, but they need to access what you're visiting so they can detect the trackers. So it's perfectly okay to install this, uh, allow it to run in private windows. I also okay. So what it's done is added it in and you can see uh, there's a little badger over here, so we'll just click on it and we'll click on learn how uh, privacy badger. There's a, there's a whole tour, but essentially what it does, it learns automatically to find out what uh, it is, tra what's tracking you. Here's a um, an example of some of the trackers. In this case, it's found 43. It's in their own thing and it catches these trackers. Visible tracking happens in all sorts of ways. Ads are just the visible tip of the iceberg. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff going on in the background. You can read all this for yourself as you do it. It doesn't block ads. I have something here called uBlock Origin that blocks the ads. And in some cases it blocks trackers too. But uh, Privacy Badger is looking and learning where you go and what trackers it's finding. So let's just come out of here. And we're in. So let's go visiting places here. So I'm just going to come out of here, go away from the other manager, and I'm just going to bring up a UK paper, the Daily Telegraph. And it should start telling you here how many trackers it's found. So there's four potential trackers have been blocked. If we go here to the options in here, we probably should have looked at this first. We can look at the different general settings and the advanced. We wanted to learn to block new trackers, so I would absolutely do this. Show domains that don't appear to be tracking you. Learn. Not 100% sure what they're trying to tell us here, but I've clicked the learn to block and I'm preventing WRTC from leaking your IP addresses. You don't want your IP address, your local IP address and your network to be visible to where you're going. This is a list of disabled sites. As we go along, you can add and remove them. You'll see how we can do this very easily. In some cases, Privacy Badger can actually make a site not act too well. And we're going to do an exact, we're going to show you how that happens uh, on a, a particular website, just as an example. Widget replacement. Um, I think this is one for uh, changing the thumbs up and the like widgets. I'm not 100% sure. I never do anything with it. I just leave it as enabled. Tracking domains. Again, you don't need to do anything here, but you can have a look at the domains that it's tracking if you wish. It doesn't really matter. It's just for information only. Uh, and managing data. 
uh, if you want to, if you've blocked various things or put them on their whitelist and said, yeah, this is okay, uh, you can download all of this data and use it on other uh, computers if you wish, and you can reset it and remove. But generally, don't need to worry about that. So let's go back. Nothing to do here. So what I want to do is go bring up the telegraph again, have a look at the, the trackers that are on here, and say this is okay. Now, as it happens, I know that this does not hurt this website. For example, I'm often uh, noticing that when you've got Privacy Badger, on occasion it'll get rid of the comments. And if you want to see the comments, then just make sure you can see them. If you, if you want to block this and not have it check the trackers on here, you can always disable Privacy Badger for this site. And we are going to do this for another site in a few minutes. But for this one, we don't necessarily have to do it. It was just to show you how things are working. Let's go and have a look at another newspaper, Daily Mail Online. All our ads have disappeared, uh, mainly because of uBlock Origin. Here we've got a couple of trackers that have been blocked. Others that Privacy Badger hasn't decided yet. It's, it's notified them, but we haven't done enough browsing yet for it to decide what it wants to get rid of. So I'm just leaving leaving this going. Uh, DuckDuckGo is my browser. We'll talk about DuckDuckGo in another uh, video. But DuckDuckGo is my safe um, search engine. So you can also we're also going to add DuckDuckGo to Firefox for other reasons later in a different video. But DuckDuckGo is a far. It's not a better uh, search engine than Chrome. It's a, it's different, but it doesn't track you. If it's Chrome tracks everything that you do, it doesn't matter what you're doing, it'll still track you. Uh, which is why we use Firefox, because it's more uh, user-friendly from the privacy point of view. Uh, but DuckDuckGo is a good search engine to use. Uh, where I do want to go is to a... I'm just going to go to a website called ochre.com. And we'll see here that this is blocked 17, 18. It's learned quite a few here that it's blocked. And there's some that it hasn't decided to block yet. I'm just going to go show you a website that you can go to to see what's being blocked. This is a, a website called themarkup.org. I'll put it in the detail will be below this video in, uh, in YouTube. But if you put in ochre.com in here and scan the site, it'll take a few minutes. And it's starting to tell you what is there within here. There are 14 ad trackers, double the average that we usually found. Nine third party cookies, again, triple the average. Uh, it's also telling you about Facebook and Google. Uh, there's always a Facebook um, pixel on most websites so that Facebook can uh, track you as well. There's ways to turn these off, but not just yet. Google as well is the same thing. So these are all the various ad tech companies which this website interacted with. A whole bunch of things. Alphabet is basically Google, Critio, absolutely no idea who they are, an advertising technology company. LinkedIn as well, Microsoft, Quantcast, they're also uh, an analytics company. And Salesforce is a big sales outfit. They help businesses uh, sell their products. So there's nothing wrong with it. But we are checking to see, are these going to be blocked? And certainly we've found in Privacy Badger, it's blocked a bunch of things, but not everything. Now, I'm actually going to turn Disable Privacy Badger on for on this particular site, and you can do this any time. For example, I, my, my wife was telling me about this. She was looking at uh, armchairs on this site, and they don't come up. So if I turn off privacy badger for this. I'll disable privacy badger for this site. Ah, there's the armchairs. So if you've got a website that you're familiar with or else, or else it's, it's giving you a problem in the checkout area, occasionally privacy badger does that. It, it, it blocks something you don't want it to block and it's very difficult to understand uh, what it has actually blocked. I'm just going to re-enable this. As you can see, it's enabled and the armchairs have disappeared. You never really know. I've, I've tried 
allowing various things and I've not found anything that what it is that actually blocks the armchairs but something in there is doing it uh, and it's the same with uh, let's just come out of here it's the same with any any accessories on this particular website let's go and look at fireplaces again they're, they're not here if we block disable privacy badger okay it's, there's got stuff on this now you can see that it's it's blocked you block as well i've actually blocked on here uh, I blocked UK, uh, Oka for uh, for its ads for similar reasons, but in this case we're talking about privacy badger. But you can see uh, if we go back to Telegraph, for example, it's not blocked. Everything is is okay there. So you just need to be aware that privacy badger can give you some problems. But there you go. What it's doing is tracking the trackers, finding out what's what's blocking you. You can also go to um, as I said, you can go to backlight and this one will tell you all the different trackers. Go to any website that you want. Let's try Amazon.com. It's just of interest so you can see what they're doing. Now, interestingly enough, Amazon has no trackers. That is very, that's actually very good. But it's just using Amazon here. So Amazon does not have other advertising trackers. I didn't know, and I'm very pleased about that. Let's go and have a look at uh, foxnews.com. Ah, <laughs> they got loads of trackers and third-party cookers, as you would expect. So it, it's uh, so if we go to foxnews.com, uh, let's just try it here, foxnews.com. Let's see what Privacy Badger is going to do about things. Well, it's blocked a number. So it's uh, obviously some is still allowing, but this is what Privacy Badger does. It looks for and tracks the, the trackers that are tracking you. And the best thing to do is to turn it on. If you don't mind uh, turning it off for various websites like we did with Oka before, uh, there's no real problem with that. Uh, just be aware that when you turn it off, you're going to be tracked. So that's about it. That's how to install and use Privacy Badger. So I'm just going to show you a pretty picture. There you go. I'm very partial to badgers, as is my wife. My wife's from Wisconsin, and their state animal is the badger. And here's a bunch of badgers in our garden. Uh, my wife feeds them <laughs> most nights. Uh, they love peanuts. So if you're ever in an area that has badgers, stick out a pile of peanuts and watch the badgers come, and it's a lot of fun. So... Uh, there we go. That's about it. So we've got right to it. And in other videos, we're going to be covering all sorts of different things. This was just Privacy Badger. We're going to be looking at DuckDuckGo, VPNs, email security, data encryption, browser fingerprints. These are similar to the trackers, but even worse. <laughs> so, uh, and we'll get to a lot more videos as we're building this, uh, this course within um, Security Online Academy. So, as you, you'll know, security and privacy is a multi-layered project. We'll be adding more and more layers as you go along. You'll need a lot of different things. As you could see from my uh, Firefox, we had uBlock Origin, which we'll discuss in another video. That stops the advertising. Uh, privacy badges stops the trackers. And there'll be much more to help you take back your privacy, take control of your life online again which is a very worthwhile thing to do. So special bot, special thanks to Firefox and the Firefox extension developers. And thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you've learned anything, please subscribe to my channel and give us a thumbs up. And just so you know, the thumbs up is yet another tracker that we discuss at some point in the future. But everything, remember everything and much of what you do is you've done it yourself. You're allowing them to track you. Privacy Badger is a step in the right direction to stop them tracking you and building your profile. Anyway, if you've liked this, leave a, leave a comment and a thumbs up, or subscribe to our channel. And you can also go visit my website where you can sign up for a free ebook I put together, Seven Ways to Protect Your Online Privacy. There's a lot more than seven, but it's a good way to, to, to start. So have a good read and thanks very much. Any questions, you can find me at securityonlineacademy.com and, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.